In this lecture, we will see who is responsible for different test levels. The learning objective here is to compare the different test levels from the perspective of responsibilities. Let's see who is responsible for component testing. Component testing is usually performed by the developer who wrote the code, but it at least requires access to the code being tested. Developers may alternate component development with finding and fixing defects. Developers will often write and execute tests after having written the code for a component. Let's see who is responsible for integration testing. As we know by now, integration testing has two levels. Component integration testing, it is often the responsibility of developers whereas system integration testing is the responsibility of the testers. Testers performing system integration testing should understand the system architecture and should have influenced integration planning. Let's see who is responsible for system testing. System testing is typically carried out by independent testers who rely heavily on specifications. The degree of independence depends on the team structure. Let's see a few team structures to understand the term degree of independence. The first example is developer testing their own code. Second, independent tester within development team. Third, independent tester in the same organization under the same manager. Fourth, Independent tester, in the same organization, but different manager. And the last one, independent tester, in a different organization. Here, the degree of independence is increasing from top to bottom. We will cover this topic in more detail in Chapter 5. Let's see who is responsible for acceptance testing. Acceptance testing is often the responsibility of the customers, business users, product owners, or operators of a system, and other stakeholders may be involved as well. Let's summarize the test level responsibilities. Component testing is often the responsibility of developers. Component integration testing is often the responsibility of developers. System integration testing is often the responsibility of testers. System testing is often the responsibility of independent testers. Acceptance testing is often the responsibility of customers, business users, product owners, or operators of a system, and other stakeholders may be involved as well.